So, you have a new series for me? Yes, sir, I do. Well, actually, this comes from our team in South Korea. Oh, interesting. Now, are you Korean? I'm not, no. Okay, and you're sure? Yes. Because, you know, you look like someone I might cast to play an Asian character in a movie. Yeah. And, you know, please stop doing that kind of thing. Well, no promises. So tell me about this show. Well, sir, it's called Squid Game. Okay, so this is like in the Shark Tale cinematic universe? Ah, well, actually, no, sir, because that's not a thing that exists. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so this is a show where a bunch of desperate people play in children's games for the chance to win a bunch of money. How much money are we talking? 45.6 billion. Whoa. South Korean won. Which is also a lot in U.S. dollars. Okay, great, awesome. So we're gonna follow this guy named Gi Hun, right? Okay. And he owes a bunch of money to loan sharks. Yeah, from Shark Tale. Nope. And so after a guy in a suit slaps him around in a subway station a little bit, he gets invited to participate in this event that can help him clear his debt. Oh, getting slapped around by a guy in a suit is tight. Okay, and so he gets picked up in this van and some gas knocks him unconscious and he wakes up in this weird place with a bunch of other people. Oh boy, and so what's the deal? with this place. Well, everybody's in a numbered tracksuit and there are very angry PlayStation buttons watching everybody. What? So then these 456 players go into this other area to play a big game of red light, green light. And what's that? Ah, oh, well see, you can only move forward when this massive horrifying doll isn't looking at you. Oh my god. And if the doll sees you move, you get shot and killed. Wait, what is this show? So people start freaking out and running around and 255 people get brutally murdered. Murdered. What is happening? What is going on? Ah, we'll see the catch is this is a super secret organization with insane surveillance and if you lose in a game, you die. Oh, very messed up. Yeah, it also turns out this cop who's following a lead on his missing brother, he's infiltrating this whole operation. Man, that's gonna be hard to do with all the crazy surveillance. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he just sneaks onto this boat that's bringing players to this place and he kills one of the PlayStation buttons and puts his uniform and mask on. He just kill someone at the beginning of the investigation? Yes. He doesn't even know what's going on yet. Yeah, so he just does a casual little murder because he needs the right clothes to keep investigating. Okay. And then he just kind of goes with the flow and pretends that he works there from there on out and it keeps working. Oh, so he's like good at improv. Passable at best. He keeps being like, hey, what are you guys talking about? And the other guards are like, you know what we're talking about. You were there for the thing we're talking about. Very suspicious. Yeah, but somehow he keeps getting away with it. So he's sneaking around the whole time collecting evidence. With what? With his smartphone, and unlike everybody in the games, this thing just won't die. Oh, neat. Anyway, so then the second game they need to play is this one where they need to cut specific shapes out of honeycomb candy without breaking the candy. Oh, yikes. So then Gihun figures out that if you lick the candy, that helps a lot, so he survives with like a second left, which is kind of his thing. Oh, solving problems by licking things is tight. I never want to hang out with you. So then the players realize that if they kill each other during the off time, that improves their odds of winning. How do they realize that? Egg. What? So then at bedtime when the lights go out, it gets super violent. Players are gonna die? Oh yeah, a whole bunch of players are gonna die, and possibly a couple of epileptic viewers at home as well. Very cool. Wait, what was that last part? And then the next game is a tug of war, where if you lose, you fall to your death. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so pretty much all the main characters are on one team, and then a bunch of random people are on the other. Oh man, I wonder what team is gonna win. Oh, well get this, the team with all the main characters wins. Oh. Yeah, the team with all the random unimportant characters we don't know, that team doesn't win. Oh man, I did not see that coming. Very unpredictable for sure. So then after that, they're gonna play the marble game. What's that one? Well, everybody has to pick a partner, right? And then they find out that with their partner, they have to play whatever marble game they want, and the loser dies. Oh no. So there's this Ali guy who's just the sweetest man, you know? Not the brightest, but super loyal. Oh man, yeah, that sounds like a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, so he gets betrayed and shot in the head and dies. Oh, ouch, that hurts right here. And this girl from North Korea bonds with someone seemingly for the first time in her life. It's very nice. Oh, that's nice. Wait, no, one of them's gonna die. Yeah, so then her new friend gets shot in the head and dies. Oh, I don't like how this episode makes me feel. And also gi -hun is teamed up with this sweet old man and he ends up having to take advantage of this man's dementia in order to survive. Oh boy, okay.
That's a lot. And so then after that game, the VIPs are gonna show up. The VIPs? Well, they're these super rich elite types in animal masks, and they're here to watch the games and bet on them. Well, why are they just showing up now? Well, you know how when people go see, like, sporting events, they always show up just moments before they end? That's not accurate. And so I was thinking, in terms of the VIPs, it might be cool if, you know, writing and character and acting-wise, they all just, you know, came close to ruining the whole show. What? Just bring everything down several notches. I thought that might be fun. I guess. So then for the next game, they need to cross this super long bridge with pairs of glass panels, each made of tempered glass or regular glass. Oh, and they need to try to step on the tempered glass with every step? Exactly. There's no other way they could get across. What are the panels held up with? Some long beams on which they can definitely cross. Okay. And so then eventually by the final game, there's just the main guy and his childhood friend left, and they need to play the squid game. That's the name of the show. It is. So what are the rules of this game? Barely matters, because they're pretty much just gonna fight to the death. Oh. And his friend ends up killing himself, so Gihan wins. Oh, he does. And that cop finds out that this secret masked guy who was like running the whole game, it's actually his missing brother. Wait, how long was his brother missing? Oh, well, see, he missed his last rent payment, so that's what sent the cop on this search. This guy's running a massive secret organization and he doesn't have a system in place to pay his rent? That's what we're going with. So then the cop gets shot in the shoulder and falls. Falls where? All the way into season two, if necessary. Okay, so does Gihan use all the prize money to pay the families of the people that died? No, he doesn't do anything for a full year. He just goes back to the life he was living, doesn't spend any of the money. Well, what happens to the debt he had with the loan sharks? Unclear. Well, okay then. So then somebody from the Squid Game organization wants to get in touch with him, because it's weird that he's not spending the money at all. How do they get in touch with him? By having somebody sell him a rose that has a secret little card in it. The main thing they know about him is that he's not spending any money at the moment, so they get in touch with him via a transaction. That's right. That works for me. So then there's gonna be this big twist where we find out the guy who started the games is that old guy. Oh, I thought he was killed during the marble game. Ah, but see, we didn't actually see him die, so he must have had the guard, like, fire the gun next to his head or something, and Gihan wasn't watching. Well, what if Gihan hadn't turned his back? How did he intend to fake his death? I don't know. Fair enough. So then we find out the whole reason this guy started the games in the first place. Oh, and why is that? Ah, he was bored. Oh. Okay. And so then the old man dies of a brain tumor, and Gi Hun decides to use the money for good. Nice. And hair dye. What? And then at the end, it seems like maybe he's gonna try to take down the games instead of taking care of his daughter. Oh, okay. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a good series, you know? And you think we can properly translate and dub this thing from Korean? Yeah, maybe. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.